Hi guys, I'm Rishabh Chatterjee and today we are talking about the new Samsung Galaxy S5. Well, Samsung has launched its new flagship Galaxy S5 on 24th February 2014 at New York. Uh, there were a lot of expectations from Samsung to do something innovative with this S5. But uh, it's sad to say that Samsung has again gone with uh, safe on this new device and has not gone with any new innovations as the, it was the case with S4. Well, it has played safe and put all the features which are available in other phones. Let's talk about some of them. Well, it comes with a 5.1 inch screen which is full HD. In the front, we have a 2.1 megapixel camera and following Apple, it has also gone with a fingerprint scanner which is put in the home button. So when you slide on the home button, it tracks your fingers and scans it. At the back is the major changes which have been made to the Samsung Galaxy S5. It comes with the finish which looks very similar to the Nexus 7 2012 version. But the feeling, the feel which we get on this back is similar to the Note 3. Only the case is that the stitching has been removed and now it looks more like the Nexus 7 2012 version. At the back, we get a new 16 megapixel camera and they have been made some tweaks so that the picture quality is improved. And now we do get 4K. And just below the camera, we have the flash and also the new heartbeat tracker. So basically what it does, there are two sensors and you keep your hand on those two sensors and through the S Health app, it tracks your heartbeat. In the bottom, we have the new USB 3.0 and this time Samsung has made it IPC 50, uh, 67 certified, which means it is dust proof and water repellent. It's not waterproof, which means you can't put it in a swimming pool or put it in a bucket of water. This is just water repellent, which means when you go in rain and the rainwater falls on it, your device is safe. Well, underneath it, the physical components, the hardware, it comes with 2.5 gigahertz Snapdragon 800. And uh, basically, this is the uh, US and the UK version. For India, there are rumors that it's going to come with the same Exynos processor, which is a octa core. Uh, this has been a complaint with mostly with Samsung that it uh, gives India this Exynos while the others uh, get the Snapdragon. Well, but that's Samsung what they do with it. And uh, uh, taking the software components, uh, there were many speculations that uh, Samsung is going to uh, tweak the whole touch with so that it uh, looks very new and uh, the whole user interface is going to change but sadly that's not the case it remains the same just the icons have been made more roundish as seen in the tab pro series and that's it and now it comes with the 4.4 kitkat and uh, the version looks very fluid and uh, it's very light but the features have been remained so the due to the KitKat, uh, the TouchWiz feels more fluid than the previous uh, previous version. Samsung has launched the back cover four colors actually: white, black, blue, and golden. And the blue is the most uh, is uh, currently the most uh, famous one among the four colors. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this th channel. Thank you. This is Rishabh Charji signing off. Goodbye.